Hello, I'm Eric Hanley, an Automation Specialist at es &E. In this video, we're going to go over emulation and transferring a Factory Talk Optics application to an optics panel. The emulator and the optics target location for the runtime can be seen in the toolbar at the top where it says emulator. To run the emulator, we need to make sure we have an existing save project, then press the play button in the toolbar. That will send a notification that NetLogic will be executed if you have added any c -sharp code. Proceed with caution because the system will not compile the c -sharp code and may have an issue but we can just press the proceed button since we do not have any C sharp. We then get a status indicator that it is being built and shortly the display will appear on our screen. In the emulator, we can see all our objects and tell that they are running. We will then flip our mode switch to put our system into auto, then press start and we can see our multi-state indicator text changes and our gauge showing the tank level increasing. Now we will use our navigation bar at the top to move to screen two, and we will see the controller dashboard. I will select the task page on the dashboard and then resize to show the window. You can see the browser attempts to resize itself, and if it cannot fit in the window size provided, you can automatically see scroll bars appear. I did not set up screen one objects in the same way, so when we navigate back to screen one, we will not see all of our objects. This means you have to plan your screens properly when developing if you plan on having mobile or web clients. Now we have built and tested our graphics, we need to download them to an optics panel. For all Rockwell software, downloading is compiling a project that is on a computer and transferring that into a device. Whereas uploading is taking the project off of an end device and bringing it onto the computer. In optics, this can be done by selecting the drop down menu where the emulator target is selected. Then highlight the local folder and select the plus icon to add a new target device. Give the target a name and ours will be optics panel. Then an IP address and ours will be 192 168, 112. And last is the username being used to download to the panel. This username is the same one that we set up during the out of box setup and ours was admin. We do not need to adjust the path since we will let optics use the default path. At the bottom of this window, you will have the option to encrypt the file or download source code. We will not encrypt the file and we will also transfer the source file. This means we will be able to connect to the device in the field and upload the project to restore the full application from the runtime file. By default, these are not checked, but I would highly recommend changing these settings. Once the target path is showing optics panel in our software, we will press the play button to start the transfer. We will get the same C sharp prompt. We will select proceed and then it will prompt us for a password to send the file using the username that we added during the target setup. After I enter the password, I will press OK. If this is the first time you have connected to a panel, the new window will appear asking if you will accept the validation certificate from the optics panel. If you select trust, it will remember the panel. If you select temporary, it will ask each time you try to download. If you hit reject or cancel, it stops the process. Now the project is looking for the optics panel. If the password is not correct or the checkbox for the update service is not enabled on the hardware, then you will get a red note stating unavailable to connect and will ask you to verify your configuration and hardware. On the optics panel screen, if there is not a file, it will show a message saying no application found. You need to be on this screen for a download to work. Once the download begins, this screen will go dark 
and you will have a status indicator on your PC showing the download happening. If you wanted, you could also create a runtime application and use a USB to transfer the file. This is always a good backup plan and sometimes is even the fastest method depending on your PC. I have noticed that deploying from within a virtual machine takes a little longer than if Optics is installed on the host system. One positive thing is when you need to update a screen, each update is significantly quicker because it does not reload the whole application, it only updates what was changed. This means that the first download will take the longest, but the rest will be very fast. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact your local ESNE account manager or automation specialist.